The Prime Minister speaks of a crucial week for Brexit, saying deposing her would delay or frustrate a deal with the EU. With meetings in Brussels in the coming days and then an EU summit, she says a change of leader would mean more uncertainty. These next seven days are going to be critical. They are about the future of this country. It's about people's jobs, it's about their livelihoods, it's about the future for their children and grandchildren. The former Wales rugby captain Gareth Thomas speaks out after suffering a homophobic attack in Cardiff. There's a lot of people out there who want to hurt us, but unfortunately for them, there's a lot more that want to help us heal. So this, I hope, will be a positive message. The death toll rises in California as its worst ever wildfires continue to burn. Good afternoon. The Prime Minister has said the next seven days are critical for the country as she prepares to go to Brussels to discuss Britain's future relationship with the EU. Theresa May defended the agreement reached for the UK's withdrawal from the EU, saying that it was in the national interest. And she warned those seeking to have her removed that a change of leadership would not make Brexit any easier. Here's our political correspondent, Vicky Young. It's much more on the BBC Sport website, including details of Danny Willett's first tournament win since he won the Masters over two years ago. Michelle. Oli, thank you very much. And that's it from us for now. We're back with the late news here on BBC One at 10 o'clock tonight. Now time for the news wherever you are. Goodbye. Follow the story, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can follow every moment in depth with BBC News. Get the full story at bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Get the headlines as they happen with the breaking news alert. And keep up with events by watching the BBC News channel in the app. Follow the story wherever you are with BBC News. I'm Katty Kane, Washington. I'm Christian Fraser in London. Let's start with the European Union. Brexit. Russian interference. Donald Trump's Twitter feed. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we'll move on. I think there are going to be a lot of questions now. Yeah. I think it's going to be fascinating to watch. We're nearly out of time. This is a big deal. Beyond 100 Days, Monday to Thursday, on the BBC News Channel. Our small island continues to reveal an epic history. We can be there for every exciting moment of discovery. An extraordinary monument as old as Stonehenge. It's been a real roller coaster. A vast hoard of ancient coins. Everyone is hiding their money. And a radically different view of our barbarian ancestors. You've had a facial reconstruction done. Where the very latest discoveries are changing history. Welcome to Digging for Britain. Starts Wednesday the 28th of November on BBC4. Join Simon McCoy as he brings you the top stories live. The ball is entirely in the UK's court. We could have got our tennis correspondent to report on this. The latest in sport. Heaven knows how they're dealing with this on the court. The heat or the wind, I'm not quite sure. Well, both. <laughs> the day's weather. It's getting colder. And undeniable chemistry. He's still laughing. We have to talk to each other. <laughs> um, but um... There's only one Simon. So you're the real McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon Live with Simon McCoy, weekdays at 2pm on the BBC News Channel. Hello, this is BBC News with Carol Walker. Let's return to Theresa May, who has told her critics that getting rid of her as Prime Minister would not make delivering Brexit any easier. Well, I've been speaking to the Conservative MP, 